are the top five stories you've been clicking on this week. At number five, one of the women who says she was drugged at a bar in Portland's Old Port is warning others of the risk. Megan Southern says she was at Rathskeller on Wharf last week when she was approached by a couple of men. She says she believes one of the men drugged her. Staff at Rathskeller did not comment on the allegations, but the bar's owner says they turned security camera footage from that night over to police. At number four, police in Hollowell say a four-hour standoff ended when someone taking their own life. Officers evacuated a house on Water Street around noon Tuesday. Police say the standoff lasted roughly four and a half hours and ended when someone died by suicide. Police are not releasing any more information and say an investigation is ongoing. And number three, a chemical spill caused a scare on the University of Maine campus in Orono. University officials say a graduate student was doing an experiment Thursday when they were sprayed by an unspecified chemical. That student was in full protective gear and was not hurt. The Orono Fire Department hazmat team decontaminated the student and then declared the building safe. And number two, as we mentioned earlier, a beach in Biddeford is back open after an apparent shark sighting. A lifeguard at Middle Beach in Biddeford spotted what looked like a shark fin around 1 o'clock Thursday afternoon. The director of the Parks and Recreation Department told us the red flag was raised. Swimmers were ordered out of the water. They were allowed back in after an hour when the fin wasn't spotted again. The director says they've had about one or two of these sightings every summer for the past five or so years. And our most clicked on story this week, it looked a lot like Valentine's Day in Portland on Thursday. A boat parade was held for Kevin Farman, known by many as the Valentine's Day Bandit. For decades, he and a small group of friends scattered paper hearts all over downtown Portland on Valentine's Day. Farman died in April, but family and friends celebrated what would have been his 68th birthday on the Portland Harbor. Family and friends said they hope to continue his mission. They're promoting the hashtag Be a Kevin to encourage others to live like he did. And that's a look at the top five stories for us online this week. You can read more about these stories and a lot more news and weather on our website and mobile app.